Hey everyone, Jalance here, and today we're just outside Chicago, I believe it's called Arlington Heights, something like that, just north. Here we're at the Golden Corral, again, the mecca of America, one of my favorite places. And basically, uh, we're taking the day off, we've had basically a week straight of challenges, and what a better way to take the day off than to go eat normally at the Corral. So again, just gonna go have a normal lunch, and uh, that's about it, we're gonna see some more downtown, so let's have some fun at the mecca of America. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at the Golden Corral. Yes, so for those who are familiar, I love the Corral. The Golden Corral is a buffet chain across the United States, and in my opinion, when it's good, it's really good. And when it's not that great, well, there's times where it's not that great, but most of the time it's pretty dang good. So here we're actually at one of the new locations, a brand new location, um, just outside of Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. Um, and honestly, in fact, I'd honestly even just say this was in Chicago, I guess you could say. But here at one of their new locations, I'm um, giving it a try um, and, you know, just started off with kind of some of my simple and basics. My buffet strategy, my buffet theory is try some items at the start unless you know you like them. And even if you know you like them, start with less and then go to more just to ensure it's still good and fresh and hot. So I, of course, had a uh, big salad to start. I love my vegetables. I love my fruits and vegetables. So I was not intending to just overly splurge the buffet today. I've really been trying to, uh, on this trip, wash my calories. So this was just like a normal day of eating. This is going to be a one, my one meal for the day. Um, and I love to get my fruits and vegetables in. And I love vegetables just in general. So I had a lovely combination of both green bell peppers. I love bell peppers. I eat them like apples. I had a whole bunch of uh, little like cherry or grape tomatoes, which are also very, very delicious. I love those uh, little vegetable things and then I had some pico de gallo on top I do like salad dressings but like I said I'm kind of calorie conscious so in this situation um, it made just the that was just there and that was delicious and that was most sensical alternatively I also usually go for a uh, Catalina dressing they have there which is kind of like a fat free French dressing um, again the option I will choose if and when available as well um, again just what I choose for my preference um, additionally, on the other plate then, I had some of my favorite classics. I had some green beans, which I always like the green beans. Uh, definitely one of my favorite cooked vegetables at the Golden Corral. I had some fried chicken, a must-try item in my opinion at the Golden Corral. And we had some pot roast. Again, another item which I would definitely classify as a must-try, as all those items there, at least in my opinion, are generally consistently very good and delicious. Again, consistently, consistency is key. Um, don't get me wrong, there have been a couple times where I've had fried chicken and it was a little less exciting than I would have hoped, but at least most often they are very consistently good. So now, of course, when you go to a restaurant, such as like myself coming to the corral here, you obviously have your favorites. So, you know, if you've seen some of my other Golden Corral videos, you probably noticed that there are certain items, again, I consistently eat and how I consistently eat them. One being the fried chicken. And the way I like to eat the fried chicken is with ketchup and hot sauce. Uh, Texas Pete is a hot sauce which is standardly at the Golden Corral. Um, sometimes look, some locations also have a Louisiana style, or I should say a more Louisiana hot sauce being the Tabasco sauce, but the Texas Pete is definitely uh, uniform, as well as Heinz ketchup, which is my favorite type of ketchup. Um, I love that, and I love a Louisiana style hot sauce, but Texas Pete is pretty good too. I love to mix the ketchup and the hot sauce together. I believe it is the perfect perfect, sweet, salty, and then from the fried chicken, savory uh, combination possible. When I'm in my leisure, I really like to eat uh, spicy stuff and specifically hot sauces. Now, not like crazy hot sauces, but like a Louisiana, Texas Pete, whatever it be. Love the flavor of it. Um, and I will literally pour that stuff in my mouth if I'm home alone. And not even just home alone, let's be honest. But yeah, just like take a bite of chicken, you know, chase it with a mouthful of hot sauce. Nothing better than that. Very, very delicious. And then, like I said, you got to throw in a little bit of ketchup and all that stuff there. Um, so, yeah, but basically that's my preferred combo. Like I said, I just love to douse it. The more, the merrier. I'm a very uh, salt, I have a salt forward palate and I love strong flavors. So that's definitely what I enjoy. And that's definitely one way to satisfy by, you know, drinking or eating, consuming, however you want to call it, a half bottle of hot sauce in a meal. Sometimes, let's be honest, there's one at least once well one time for sure i was literally given a like brand new bottle of hot sauce at uh golden corral and let's just say by the time i left that bottle of hot sauce no longer existed so there you go guys people talk about making your getting your money's worth at buffets well if you drink a bottle of hot sauce it also adds to the value of not only what you're eating but what you are consuming 
And that's pretty much a joke. Like, I mean, technically it's true, but pretty much a joke. So again, have some vegetables here. And um, then I have some more pot roast, some uh, catfish, and some fried chicken. Again, my favorite, some really honestly, some of my favorite items. Items I pretty much always eat whenever I go there. Then of course I had some of my favorite green beans. The green beans are really good. They're cooked in a pork. If you've never had the Golden Crow green beans, would definitely recommend. Um, and then I also had some of the uh, steamed broccoli. Steamed broccoli is probably the second most common uh, cooked vegetable that I would get. It's literally just that. It's just steamed broccoli. Um, sometimes I'll put some salt on it, maybe uh, maybe a little bit of hot sauce, but you know, basically I just enjoy it for what it is. Great way to again get in that fiber. I love vegetables. I love fibrous fruits, and I was also very very much enjoying these little cherry tomatoes on this visit. I really do like a cherry tomato, a nice sweet tomato, um, and they were delicious. And while they're there, of course, I'm going to take advantage of it. I also had some of their pico de gallo on it as well. Similarly, kind of like I did before, using it as a salad dressing, um, but like in that capacity, that's pretty pretty straightforward. So now I will address, like I said, Golden Corral, I think people have had some really mixed uh, experiences there. So again, the chains are all across the United States. That being said, they are like franchised or whatever. So you do get like a difference. You do get a slightly different experience in each location. I personally find any of the locations that are newer, um, especially like in the last year, any of the newer locations usually are just like 10 out of 10 amazing. Now, again, I've probably been to the Golden Corral about 15 times in my life now, and out of the 15 times, there have definitely been, mm, I would say, twice. So two out of 15, there has been twice that I was really not impressed, and I was probably like, I, why did I come here? Um, the, ever that being said, so of those two bad times, um, I would say 10 of the other times were like, this is freaking awesome, I love the Golden Corral. And then the other three were like, eh, it's not bad, it's at least mediocre. And like I said, as a buffet um, kind of uh, strategy point, if you go and you try the different items, you can identify what items are good that day. So although I always love the, the fried chicken, I only ever start with one piece because the fried chicken maybe has been sitting there for a while, maybe it's not good, whatever it may be. When we were here at this Golden Corral, this was about like 3, 4 p.m. in the afternoon, so a little earlier. So I was really impressed that everything was uh, in good condition and really fresh. Some Golden Corrals as well, they'll offer different unique items. So this one offered um, quite, I'm going to say, items with a bit more of a Mexican influence than I would have thought. But more like there was like definitely more like kind of fajita mixes, um, kind of uh, like some uh, roasted uh, jalapenos, which are very common in the southern uh, Golden Corrals as well. But up north, generally not. Just as like some, uh, some of the Golden Corrals put ketchup on their meatloaf, some put a brown gravy on their meatloaf. Um, one time in, actually one, probably one of the better Golden Corral experiences I've ever had was actually at the um, at, at a Golden Corral in Austin, Texas. I believe the area was called something like something something tech kind of whatever. I was just kind of north of Austin, the downtown. Um, but that Golden Corral even had chicken fried steaks. Yes, chicken fried steaks. And they offered brisket on Fridays. Like, that is amazing, if you ask me. And some of the Golden Corrals have smoked meats. Um, like, sometimes they offer literally like a smoked pulled pork. I've had smoked ribs there. Um, I've had a smoked um, sirloin, which was delicious. Like I said, each place kind of offers a little bit different uh, pizzazz, a few different unique items. Um, so some, again, the Golden Corrals you're going to go to, it's going to be a lot more limiting. They're going to have less items. Some you're going to go to, they're going to be bigger, better, etc., etc. You just kind of got to find what's good for you. And if you live close to a Golden and corral you'll be able to well simply that identify if your one local is better than another one or maybe you have a whole bunch of great ones maybe you don't have any great ones it really just depends but my love for the corral is pretty universal and like i said it usually does me really well and only a couple of times has it ever mm, steered me in the wrong direction this also here answers the question like, hey Joel, what do you eat in an average day? So again, this is like basically me having my complete food for the day in one meal. Um, and again, eating more normal like I do if I was at home. Of course, now if I'm at, the, if I'm at home, I'm not gonna be having fried chicken likely, but I still focus on meats. Um, at the buffet, admittingly, I don't do carbohydrates as much as I do at home. At home, I definitely eat carbohydrates more readily. I really like breads and stuff. But when I'm at the buffet, I'm eating meats and I'm eating fruits and vegetables. 
those are not only my preferences, but also the items that I feel I get my most value out of because they're at home, they're very expensive. So when I'm at a buffet, my uh, carbohydrate um, calories would be replaced, you know, let's say with a little bit more protein, maybe a little bit more fat from something like the fried chicken, but ultimately I still try to get my vegetables in and my fruits in. Um, and my fruits are, and let's be honest, the amount of ketchup I consumed definitely gave me some carbohydrates. I also had a broccoli salad, which was really nice. It's like a broccoli salad where they put like onions in it. It's like a kind of mayonnaise best dre based dressing. Sometimes they put raisins or bacon in it. I really like it. And they had really great fruit here. Um, they had pineapple, which was really, really beautiful looking. They had some delicious looking melons, both uh, honeydew, cantaloupe, and then they had some strawberries, all of which I love. Pineapple is probably my favorite fruit, at least not at least one of them for sure. A ripe pineapple is literally life changing. I mean, all ripe fruit is very delicious in my opinion, but some of it is just life changing, and that is definitely one of them. Um, but again, if you haven't noticed, we've literally about halfway through a bottle of hot sauce maybe even a little bit more so like i said i definitely don't joke when i say i go through the hot sauce we also see the chicken there um just dripping just juicy dripping dripping um and that's really generally 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 speaking when it comes to fried chicken at the golden corral generally again it's really good uh, generally it's my favorite i generally choose the white portions just by preference um although i love all cuts don't get me wrong uh, but i am a big breast guy when chicken breast that is but i do love some thighs and some legs as well chicken legs um and well turkey legs too i mean there's don't get me wrong there's some other types of legs and breasts and thighs i like but you know of course we'll better stick to the the, the matter at hand being chicken chicken breasts right um but yeah more hot sauce more ketchup more chicken more drippy juicy goodness and like i said when the chicken's hot it is fresh it is very very delicious and I will say no, no, I'm not sponsored by Golden Corral. Although, please, Golden Corral, please, somebody reach out. I would love to be sponsored. I will rep you all day. I rep you all day not being sponsored, still paying for my meals, getting no incentive at all. Just imagine what I would rep you like if I was getting paid or covered. So, there you go. Whoever is in charge of Golden Corral, shout out that. Again, half bottle of hot sauce later. And I promise, Golden Corral, yes, I will eat all of your food. All right, well, maybe that's not a selling point, but I'll definitely eat all your food. I'll definitely enjoy the living heck out of it and share it with others. So now getting to some fruit. Like I said, I love fruits. I got some pineapple, got some honeydew melon, which was really, really good. And uh, the, uh, yeah, like I said, perfectly ripe, delicious. I don't know if it's melon season, but melons here seem to be on point. Again, love me some melons. Cantaloupe, honeydew melons, of course, we're talking about. The pineapples were good. The strawberry is good. This was a delicious plate of fruit. And this is my dessert of choice. I make sure I eat fruit every single day, whether I'm at home um, or, well, I mean, if I'm eating like this. Again, this is a normal day of eating, just all in one meal. Um, not that I recommend people eating all their calories and all their desired whatevers in one meal. It's just what I happen to do sometimes, especially like situations like this when I'm on the road. It's convenient, plus I get to enjoy it, and it's pretty good value. I mean, Golden Corral... Um, it's generally about, uh, usually I get there at dinner time, so it's about $15. Um, and I mean, the amount I eat for $15 is very reasonable. I mean, even if I'm not splurging, even if I'm just having a day like today, I think it's well worth $15. I'm very good paying that. And if you go to lunch, it's generally more like 10 to 12 of course, depending on the location you're at, it does vary prices. Um, and like when, by that, I also mean like certain states I find are just more expensive. Um, northern, southern, bigger cities, smaller cities, but you get the picture. Um, so yeah, pretty much that was uh, more or less uh, kind of the experience at Golden Corral. Comment down below if you've ever been to Golden Corral. And if you have, what do you think? And more interesting, what's your favorite Golden Corral item? You know, that's a really good question for me. And I think if I had to choose one, I'm probably going to go with the... Hmm. You know, it would, it would, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose two because they're kind of similar. I would go with the fried chicken or the catfish. Those are my favorites. Those are items that I habitually get, and they're items that are standards. Like there's certain items like one time, as I mentioned, there was a chicken fried steak at a Golden Crow, which was awesome. But I've only seen that one time. Whereas like some places have pineapple, but not every place will have pineapple. So I think standard Golden Crow items. My favorite are the catfish and the fried chicken. Let me know what your favorite is down below. Um, I mean, some of the other favorites are worth mentioning again the meatloaf, the bourbon chicken, the pot roast is really good. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know down below what you think. And uh, at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. That's pretty much it. I'm just having some pineapple finishing on up. 
Um, but that, again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Let me know down uh, below if you liked the video by hitting that like button. Also, please feel free to consider subscribing. And uh, lots of videos coming your way. Regular eating videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And then, of course, sometimes I get view extras during the week, such as a Monday or a Friday. So that, everyone, thank you so much. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a lovely day. everyone, we're down here in Chinatown Square and we're outside Lao's Sichuan, which is supposed to be the best Chinese restaurant in the USA. So, I just, I, I did challenges, I'm not eating, but George is ready for some Chinese food. So let's go in and try some food and, uh, George, you like Chinese, eh? Uh, I love Chinese. Let's go see if it's the, uh, the best in America. So here is the menu. Lots and 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 lots, lots of things. They give you a tea, complimentary tea and uh, kimchi as well. Let's try it, some kimchi. I will, uh, hold on. Utilize my chopstick skills. Mm. Ooh. Nice chili oil on that. A little spice. Really good. Here we have sesame chicken. George got some sesame chicken. Maybe a little bit of broccoli, some rice. George, how is it? Very good, man. Really good. Best Chinese in America? Yeah, buddy. Nice. It looks really good. It tastes very good. And of course, fortune cookie. The only way to be a friend, to have a friend is to be one. Nice. What to say? The only way to be to what? The only way to have a friend is to be one. I like that. The only way to have a friend is to be one. And here are some uh, deep fried or crispy sweet potatoes. Uh, George got them for free because he, on the menu it said you either the option of sesame balls or the sweet potato things if you like made a post. So if you shared like a picture and tagged the Facebook page and um, Chicago Foodie in it, you got a free item. So George went with crispy. Sweet potatoes. You want to try one? Nah, I'm good. Enjoy it, my friend. Let me, uh, looks like a tempura kind of yam sweet potato thing. Mmm. Good? Very good. Probably sweet, a little crispy, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Nice. And this is the, uh, this is the center of the Chinatown Square. It's kind of like a little, like, mall slash shopping area. There is two levels. Lots of people, lots of restaurants, of course. Uh, whether you want, you know, Chinese barbecue. Chinese barbecue is good. Have you ever had like a like a pig? I've had pig before, but not Chinese. Style. See like this. See, have you ever seen like the Pekin ducks? Yeah. See them all hanging there on the racks. Right. You can go like order your pork, your uh, your uh, ribs, your Pekin duck. They'll chop it all up for you. But yeah, definitely lots of places around here. We got a uh, barber shop. So yeah, whatever you want, desserts, barbecue. Noodles, Chinese food, definitely pretty expansive. And we're here in the square and they have all the uh, kind of the Chinese zodiacs or the, however you call this, like the years. So here's me, I am officially a pig. Officially a pig, I promise it's nothing to do with me, my eating abilities. Uh, or, you know, sometimes they call it the boar. They have, you know, the dog, they have monkeys, they have, uh, they have all of them around, which is pretty cool. Really nice looking square here. They have these uh, lookout things, which is pretty cool. And uh, some kind of stage looks like they normally do things. So yeah, no shortage of stuff to be done. And over here, looks like you can order a whole pig for $238. That's pretty funny. Maybe, uh, maybe that'll one day be in my future. One day. And here we have the Chinese American Veterans Memorial. So thank you all for your service. Definitely, a uh, always appreciate these memorials um, you know, to those who fought for for freedom, for country. You know, honor, duty, family, community, nation. Uh, Chinatown American Legion Post, one thousand and three. So yeah, pretty cool. They have uh, you know representation for the Navy. Here we have the Coast Guard, the Navy, the Marines. Over here we have the army, 
the Air Force, uh, Air Force, and uh, the Merchant, Marines. Merchant Marines. Yeah, so pretty cool. Nice little, just a very small, uh, well, quote unquote, small courtyard, but a sizable memorial, which is I think very suiting and definitely uh, suiting that they have the the, the large memorial that is um, right here in again like downtown core china or downtown core chicago chinatown and there's the uh the chinese uh, the uh, chinatown square right there that we were just in so yeah pretty cool and here we have a great big gate heading further into chinatown lots and lots and lots of places